Hey everybody, this is Alabama Deep. I'm coming back at you. So what do we have going on today? Well, we have a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Throw in a dial. Throw in some hands on top of that. And we'll be building us a watch. So what are we doing today? Well, I got some old 2813 lying around. I got a, some Mercedes hands here. Most importantly, I have a case that I got sitting right there, and then I have this nice, lovely dial. And I'm thinking to myself, yeah, okay, we're going to do this. Got dinner going, so I will be uh, going back and forth on that. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and let's begin this. Now, of course, we're dealing with a ordinary 2813 nothing too 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 special about that at all uh, we have ourselves a dial and then we have that so I tell you what I'm going to do I'm going to pick up this nice little 3135 we're going to put in a nice little bag so we don't mess it up and move it off to the side and then we're going to start to get cracking so this is a case that i bought off of ebay i was just wanting an ordinary case but i guess it's just with all my luck we have a uh, counterfeit rolex case nonetheless so i mean i just kind of take it as yeah all right we'll just do what we need to do i got a bunch of scrap parts so we're just going to throw something together i guess move that crown out of the way so all right oh take my jacket off for a minute or two as we get down here and we're thinking about this watch and we're envisioning this watch and we're thinking really hard about, ooh, what we gonna do with this one? And I've come up with a scenario. Dial, case, movement, Mercedes hands. And uh, we're going with an Oyster Flex. Sure, why not? We can do that, right? Yeah, we'll do an Oyster Flex. Why not? <sighs> Uh, as I say in my disclaimer, this is for me and me only. This is not, and I repeat, not for sale. This is for me and myself and I. And this is something that I was like, well, we'll just have a little bit of fun with it. I notice I have two screws here. They came out of a case from something else, but screws must be important, so we'll hang on to them. So first things first, we're going to kind of zoom in a little bit more on this watch. So, okay, here we go. And we're going to scoot that over. So the first thing I'm going to do, looking at this case, and it is a very nice case. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is we're going to take off that plastic ring. Yuck. I mean, who wants a plastic ring, right? Oh, okay, it's already gone. Perfect. Then we'll get rid of that plastic ring. I guess I did that a while ago. But okay. So I got this offline. And it, as far as I know, I think I've already taken the plastic off of it underneath, but not necessarily. You know, maybe perhaps I did. And if I did, hey, that's perfect. So, okay, then I've already done that then. I will double check it once I get done because, you know, I just can't believe that I took it off and I don't think I did. Um, I'm hearing it here. OK, 
Okay. I guess there's more of a possibility I may have. Okay. I'm not going to fool with it too much. All right. So we're going to start with this. And I guess we'll start with the movement first. And for anyone out there, yes, you can follow along in this video. Yep, it is functioning. I gotta check all these cheap movements because you just never know. Never know fully what's going to be going on with them. Okay, let's open this up just a little bit. Close it. All right, there we go. So we got this going on. Now we know this dial is going to fit. I know the answer to this already. So we're going to go ahead and first thing is first on this we got to keep all our eggs in a row i am going to go ahead and clamp down on this there's a reason why i'm doing that i'm going to take this plastic crown off if it will come off Clamp down a little bit tighter on it, I guess. And so Isa did. I know that crown is around here somewhere. Here is the crown. For right now, we're just going to get you started on there. That is good enough. There we go. Now I can hold it this particular way as well. I won't lose my crown, it'll always be there. So there we go. Everything is looking good. Now my next step is I got to apply this dial to this movement. And being, being as it was, I do not have any dial dots and a dial dot is what can hold a dial onto the movement if you don't have the feet and noticeably this dial has no feet on it so we want to make sure that that dial doesn't twist and turn and bend every which way that there is so we're going to take care of that now and we're going to do so by putting a little bit of adhesive on there. Now this adhesive is like a silicone dry mix. It won't take it very long to dry at all. But when I'm applying this and creating my own dial dot, I have to be careful of the date calendar. I have to be careful for so, so much. And being as it were, I'm going to gently put that there. I'm going to move this over. There we go, because I don't want it getting on that calendar so the calendar wheel won't spin next step I'm going to line it up I don't want to look at that myself that's perfect <clears throat> so I now have that on there and we're going to give that a few minutes to dry guys okay we do not want 
to shift this too much. We want to make sure everything is perfect. Everything appears to be so. So there we go. And we can take a little bit of a zoom in. Let me move it up this way so you can also see what I'm doing. I have it set to where it's almost perfect in the center. Okay. And I'm perfectly fine with that. All right. So we have that done. And like I said, it's going to take that just a minute to dry. And we're going to let it do so. And while that dries, our next step is to take a look at our hands. Now there are some hands here, of course, and I have a few other things as it appears. And I got to think about a, you know, movement ring. We don't want to use a plastic one at all. Plastic sucks. We're going to do our best not to use a plastic. I would much rather use a metal one. So enter in the movement ring. We will be using that for sure. Okay. And while we're allowing that to dry, I understand this is for a yacht master. I completely understand that. But I'm changing things up a little bit. I do not want to use a regular sub, you know, bezel insert. I want something that's going to be a little different. I want something that I think is pretty cool. And that's exactly what this is. And while that's drying, I want to see how good this magnification is. Because this dial was not that expensive. So please allow me to check. Oh, yeah. Good magnification. We're looking at two and a half to three. So I'll take that for a dollar. All right. So we have that on there. And my only concern now is, is I have two sets of hands. The two sets I have here, uh, one is uh, for... Well, you know what? I'm not going to necessarily worry about that. I'm going to come over here to another that I have. And I'm simply just going to take off of it. And I see another set of hands in there. Hmm. Interesting. I have so many hands, I have no idea what each one does. So I'm just going to rob it. I'm going to rob this one. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So there we go and now we'll go ahead and put this back into there and I should have a set of hands that I won't have to try to fidget and see if they fit they should already fit all the way I see another little hand here God knows where that came from I'm gonna put it in there and we'll fix that a little bit later on. So I do have this. Oh, and 
we're going to go ahead and we're going to throw these hands on here. Give me one second to stir our dinner, okay? I'm making uh, bratwurst potatoes. And I need to stir it in the pot for a second. feel like I'm trying to rut rush y'all or anything, but uh, I am on call tonight. I don't want to run my battery down too much. And I wouldn't mind to have another watch just to put my collection of ones that I've built. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to toss this on up in there. So I'm coming off here to the side. I do have this hand here, and um, I want to say, before I apply that hand, and it should be running perfectly fine. We have that pulled out. I want to see if this will flip around to 12 midnight. So I'm going pretty darn slow with this. I just heard it click. So there we go. There we go. It should be on that midnight. Because as, as I said, it clicked. Nothing's interfering with this, but maybe I need to wind this more. It is running. Ah, there we go. See that? Okay, I'll take that. That's a lot better. They had me concerned for a minute. And I'm thinking it's probably because I didn't have it wound up enough. Uh, but I do know that at this point it has indeed flop flipped over
And I know if I'm going a little bit fast here, I can always come back later and adjust the hands. But for right now, uh, let's continue on because dinner is in, in the skillet and we are hungry. And yeah, I could have done this video afterwards, but I mean, might as well do it while it's cooking, right? Right. So let's come on in here. There's that. That is indeed on there. there's that we're gonna come in here we're gonna put the hands on okay That is on. And now, let's put the hands on. The second hand is always important. All right. This will take me just a little bit of wee time here. believe that was an application nope it is all right there we go there we go so all right guys we're doing pretty good right here we have everything on so far we're doing pretty good everything is going as it should now we're going to go ahead we're going to take a small break and guys i'm sorry about that but yeah i do need to get a, attention to dinner and this is going 24 minutes so this is part one of my build for the night we'll come back as soon as i eat and smoke a cigarette and we will continue the video with part two of the encasing, cleaning up of the dial, having everything uh, ready to put on the wrist with a strap. And uh, yes, that will be part two.